KGMB and KHNL. This is your source for breaking news in the morning. Hawaii News Now, Sunrise. Coming up on 6 o'clock, breaking news this morning. First responders are on the scene of an emergency situation in Kalihi. Mileka Lincoln is live with the very latest from the scene on Halona Street. And more ballot issues pop up in the East Honolulu special election. This after a voter received two ballots, and now some residents who have left Hawaii are getting them in the mail. We'll have details on that. And Hawaii has purchased less lethal guns for sheriff's deputies. But so far, the deputies have not been able to use them. We have details in an exclusive report coming up in just a bit. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back, Steve Oh, yeah, thank you. Welcome thank you. back. He's who, all perky on his who first wakes day. wakes up yeah. at this time? <laughs> yeah, but the thing that gets me is he comes back, you come back on a Wednesday, so it's uh -huh. just. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, middle of the week. Oh, yeah. 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 Makes yeah. a great yeah. strategy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember yeah. that next yeah. time. <laughs> Forget Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Straight to midweek. Anyway, uh, is it a coincidence that Steve's back and we lose the trade winds? No. Oh, yes. Man. It's a it's big coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what's happening right now. Steve has scared them away oh, with his return. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah. That's not the only thing he's Sorry, scared away. Yeah. Power <laughs> too. A light wind weather pattern has taken over. Let's start with Kauai. That means with the light winds, we'll see a fair bit of sunshine early. Then some clouds will be building up, especially down towards the west side, Kikahana Pepe. They'll see some cloud buildups that could lead to some showers. Otherwise, there's not much of a chance for showers. Maybe a few windward and Malka splashes. Pretty much the same scenario here. We're likely to see some afternoon clouds build up over central Oahu, uh, out towards Waipahu, and down towards the Eva Plain late in the day. Still, though, high temperatures running warmer today, about 85 degrees with those light winds. So it's going to be a very sunny day for the leeward sides until the afternoon hours. And then over on uh, Maui County, they'll warm up to about 80 degrees, Kaunakakai 83. There's not much rain aside for a few minor splashes early on the east end of Maui. As far as the big island, well, that's going to be basically Kona wind weather. Kona's going to see sunshine in the morning, clouds in the afternoon, high temperature about 83 degrees, and similar conditions over in the Hilo side, except they'll be a little bit cooler at 80. Uh, Lacey, what's up with the traffic this morning? That's getting slower uh, this morning, guy. From the west side especially, we are backed up at the H1H to MERS, looking at just over an hour drive from Waianae to downtown Honolulu. But if you've got two or more in your car, the zipper lane is looking really nice out of Waikele. Let's take a look out of Eva Beach, backed up to Kolowaka. That's about an hour drive heading into downtown Honolulu. Now, thankfully, we have no other hot spots. It's, it's easy heading into town from the Middle Street Merge east side. It's also light, and for windward drivers, a townbound contraflow is open on Pali Highway this morning. Back to Stephen Green. And back to that breaking news. Authorities have just wrapped up responding to an emergency situation in Kalihi. That's right. Army Mileka Lincoln is live at the scene with more. Morning, Mileka. Aloha, good morning, Steve, Grace. Well, we were able to better piece together exactly what happened this morning by actually relocating. This is the area of the Kapalama Canal that runs underneath H1, close to the Huff tailing exit, just off of Halona Street, which has since reopened that frontage road. And this is where apparently first responders were initially called to a stabbing. It appears to be a homeless encampment. It did take fire fighters quite some time. It was an elaborate operation for them to lower themselves down into this canal area underneath the freeway overpass to stabilize the individual who had been injured and then to hoist him up over the railing onto a stretcher and then have him be taken away by ambulance. Now at this time we still have not been able to get any details on the extent of his injuries or even what led up up to this emergency situation, but what we can confirm is that all police, all firefighters have left from the scene, including the specialty search and rescue firefighter division that was brought in to assist this morning. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Mileka. Well, police are saying that a robbery happened at the Wet n Wild water park overnight. We're told that three or four men detained a security guard and they took some of his stuff, and then they stole an ATM. No arrests have been made at this point. Police just left the scene minutes ago. We'll bring you more information as it comes in. Yesterday, we told you about a woman who received two ballots in the mail for the upcoming special election between Trevor Ozawa and Tommy Waters. Now we're learning that some people who no longer live in Hawaii are also getting ballots. 
Well, it's kind of surprising. Um, this is for my son, who's 30 years old. He was born here and raised here, but he's been living in California for the last uh, 15 years or so. The city clerk's office says in this special election, ballots are sent to all registered voters. Under federal law, people cannot be removed from voter rolls because just because they haven't voted in a while. But one man who wanted to remain anonymous says that he got a ballot and he's not even registered to vote. Well, I knew what it was, but it, I was dumbfounded by it because I'm not a registered voter, so I just tore it in half and threw it in the garbage. The man says he moved to Waikiki from New York a few years ago. Voters who have questions or want to cancel their registration are asked to call the city clerk's office. Now to a Hawaii News Now exclusive. Over the last two years, the state has bought dozens of guns that can be converted to less lethal weapons. But sheriff's deputies are not allowed to use them when they're on patrol. Receipts we have obtained show guns were purchased for thousands of dollars. So we asked the Department of Public Safety why deputies are not allowed to use those guns on the street. And officials told us that less lethal equipment is only meant for training. Well, now state lawmakers are questioning that reasoning. It begs the question, why even train with non-lethal options if you're never going to actually have the ability to use them? They should have the option, and especially if we already have the equipment, there's no reason not to, to deploy it to the field. The issue of less lethal guns came up following an incident near the state capitol last October. Sheriff's deputies were trying to arrest Tyson Dinney, and they tried pepper spray, but that did not work. He was ultimately shot and killed by law enforcement. Happening today, Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell will proclaim Friday National Vietnam War Veterans Day. It was nationally proclaimed by President Trump in 2017 as a way to thank Vietnam veterans and their families for their service. Friday marks 46 years since 2,500 American troops were withdrawn from Vietnam. A brief ceremony will be held starting at 11.30 this morning at the Vietnam War Memorial in downtown Honolulu near the Capitol. 64 Hawaii students have been nominated by Hawaii Senators Maisie Hirono and Brian Schatz to attend the country's four military service academies. It is a requirement for students applying to receive a nomination from a state congressional member. Both Schatz and Hirono say that the students are the best the United States has to offer. We posted more details on our website. And Marcus Mariota has been spending some quality time at home on Oahu. Uh, we're told the Tennessee Titans quarterback ate at Wolfgang's Steakhouse at Royal Hawaiian Center last night with family and friends, including one of his teammates. Whoa. They checked out that <laughs> enormous slab of meat at a dry aging room. Oh, good for them. And the group was uh, there celebrating after Mariota's successful Motivate Foundation golf tournament at Oahu Country Club. Mm, delicious. Always giving back. Yeah. yeah. If you live in Hawaii, you probably have to fly at some point. Yeah, so which airline has the cleanest cabin? We're going to tell you coming up next. Plus, McDonald's has just acquired a company that specializes in artificial intelligence. How this could change the way you order. More fries. <laughs> and here's our Instagram image of the day. Don't forget to use the hashtag HNN Sunrise to tag your pictures. So it doesn't change what you order. Exactly. Right? Uh, yeah, still More got the fries. Guys. Gotcha. And before we go to break, hot spots. It is the H1 and Camilo Lacey has a full report coming up next.